Hi, it's me. On a windy day in Fallensby, West Virginia, this is a monument or memorial or whatever you want to call it to an American native tribe that once lived here a long time ago. Kind of neat. Different. Four big balls stuck on each other. You know, I've tried reading this several times and I always screw up the words, so so just don't hold me to them that much. <laughs> Near this site, November 6, 2001, Chief Waterman of the Onondaga Nation, Fire Keepers of the Iroquois Confederacy, reinterred the remains of those who were previously buried at the East Doomville site approximately 3,700 years ago. Now, I wonder if that's actually like a white man spelling. <laughs> and they just threw a whole bunch of consonants together. And I can't imagine anybody calling themselves that huge name, but, but hey, I like it. Uh, when I was a kid here, there used to be caves on the hillside. Had some friends who used to try to climb down to them and fell off and broke their ankles and such. <laughs> Many broken bones looking for arrowheads. And I can imagine living here in an empty valley looking over the what's now the Ohio River. There's the Marcus Street Bridge and there's downtown Steubenville, Ohio. Just relaxing on a nice warm day. Although I think the river has been trenched or whatever, so it was probably not that big. I remember it freezing over. My grandfather's telling stories where they could actually walk across it and swim across it. But they blasted the hillside away, so the hills, the um, caves are gone. They used to do little archaeological digs here too. Although, you find arrowheads everywhere around here. So, if you watch one of my other videos, the attack on Fort Decker, where they found arrowheads. So, it must have been an attack by the Indians across the, the way. I don't know. <laughs> it's bad enough we swiped all the land and did horrible things, but we have to lie about it in history. Even when I grew up, there was a replica, I don't think you could see it too well in the video, they built a big replica of Fort Steuben, and there was several sites I guess it's been on. When I was a kid, they said it was attacked by American natives, and, and they stole all the wood and stuff, but it turned out diaries and such proved that it was pretty much settlers stealing all the stuff. <laughs> one of my great-great-great-grandfathers was one of the settlers of Jefferson County, so maybe he was one of the looters. Hey, he's just getting some of his tax money back, you know? If they had taxes back then, I don't know. But this is where I live, Fallensby, West Virginia. Sadly, I don't think anybody knows about this memorial so much because it's hidden behind a mausoleum. But there it is.